Yes, I'm going to try and show how very simple mathematics can shed light on all sorts of unusual things that happen in sport. So I'm going to pick a range of different situations. I'm going to look at things like balance. So, for example, we're familiar with tightrope walkers in circuses or walking between high buildings. Why do they always carry long poles? You know, what is it that helps their stability uh, by carrying long pole? And how does this carry over into gymnastics or other balanced sports? And then I want to look a little more at uh, throwing things, you know, like the shot putters. What's the best way to launch a shot put so that you want it to go as far as possible? But if you've tried to lift anything heavy or to push it in the air, you will know that your strength is very, very different pushing things upwards to pushing things outwards or pushing things at an angle. We can model many simple sports like table tennis or tennis or badminton just as a series of random outcomes where for evenly matched players the chance of winning a point is very close to a half, 50%. In a one-sided game it will be very, very different from 50%. So mathematics can help you understand how many points you should play to, how many sets you should play to have a very, very good chance that the best player uh, is going to win the match as a whole. If you play table tennis in the garage or at home, I bet you're still playing under the old rules. You're playing up to 21 uh, best of three sets. But the real players, okay, the ones that don't play in your garage, the ones that are trying to win the Olympic Games, they play to 11. Well, the Millennium Mass Project was created in 1999 uh, as a way to try to improve the understanding of mathematics, the appreciation of mathematics by the general public and by students and by teachers of mathematics. And we've tried since then by means of face-to-face -face, uh, links, by visiting schools, by producing materials on the web, uh, road shows and video conferencing uh, and lectures like this one to try to show why mathematics is important uh, and why it's fun to do why it's exciting to try and solve problems. You'll find that whatever subject you do, you can't know too much mathematics. Uh, you might think that, oh, I'm going to go into medicine, or I want to work on psychology, or uh, uh, on geography. Uh, all these subjects require mathematical insight, and you will do those subjects better if you know some mathematics. So whether it's the mathematics of calculus, or mechanics if you're an engineer, or the mathematics of statistics and probability if you're a social scientist. If you want to understand uncertainty uh, and risk, for example, you need a mathematical background. And even people in the traditional humanities doing textual analysis of documents where they're trying to discover who might have been the author of this unknown document. It's mathematics that allows you to carry out the statistical analyses that can ascribe the authorship uh, of these arts uh, works or uh, pieces of literature. So mathematics pops up in all sorts of unexpected places.